Hello scouts, it's Mr. Kugler and we're back around the fire pit and we're going to make a nice tasty dessert that really doesn't get much simpler. It's going to be an apple pie, the pie crust, although you could use pie crust, uh, the store-bought type. I'm using just regular white bread, sandwich bread that you can get in the grocery store. And then we're using some pie filling, uh, where the pie filling, the apple's already cooked. They're nice and soft. They've got that nice uh, syrupy coating around them. And all we're trying to do is toast up this bread and heat the apple uh, pie filling. And you'd be amazed on how tasty it would be. The only thing that makes it better is a little sprinkle of confectionery sugar. Now, I have it in an applicator here, a sprinkler, a, a shaker, I should say. Uh, but you certainly could put it in a Ziploc bag and portion out some. We're going to coat the inside of our cast iron round pie iron uh, with some canola spray. This is Pam. It's got a good applicator on the top that does a nice even spray. You certainly could coat the outside surfaces of the bread with some mayo, some mayonnaise, and you'd be amazed on how that crisps it up. Uh, I'm going to be using a tool that uh, Rome Industries, the maker of this pie iron, uh, provided to us, and it is used to You'll see me cut the excess bread off because that happens with the round. And I have the spoon to be able to remove some of the contents and put it on. So let's get started. We're going to start by opening up our pie iron. And we're going to give both sides a nice little spray of the canola oil. We're going to start with one side with the bread. We'll take and we'll open up this pie filling. Now with our pie filling open, we're gonna just take and carefully remove some of that apple goodness. And I wanna be sure to stay away from the edge a little bit because my bread is bigger than the circle of the pie iron and I want to be able to have a nice little crease on the edge or uh, it's going to make a nice little pocket out of this. So now what I'll do is with my second piece of bread on top, just take and simply bring this down. Now if these pie irons had been used previously, they would be hot and I would have to be careful and use a glove, but I'm fortunate that they're not. Now I'll be able to take this tool and be able to remove the excess crust. Now I could have just as easily used a knife to do it, uh, but I wanted to show you that there are some tools available. And then we'll either use this bread for something else or properly dispose of it. And now what we'll do is we're going to take and we're going to put our pie iron on the fire, but we're not going to put it directly on the heat of the burning flame of the fire. We want heat from coals pushed off to the side. So I'll take my pie iron, I'm going to push some of my fire out of the way, I'm going to drag some of the coals out, and I'm just going to put that pie iron right on top of those coals. It's going to be important to flip this every 30 to 45 seconds to make sure that the heat evens out. Again, like I mentioned earlier when I was preparing it, if the pie iron had been used before and it was hot, the cooking process will also go quicker because the heat that's in the pie iron will help speed up that process. So let's take, I'll keep, I'll flip these over occasionally uh, to make sure that uh, it's cooking evenly. I'll check it periodically just to make sure that it's not burnt and it's cooking evenly. I do it by releasing this little hook that's on the handle so that I can properly open and close the pie iron. So I think our dessert is ready. Let's pull this out and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look delicious? Now you notice that the bread produces a little bit of a crust on around that perimeter. Not a problem. And if we had left the, uh, all the bread hanging over, we would have had even more of that. So we can just get that off by uh, using a knife here and removing some of that so that it's not as uh, 
unappetizing. And then uh, we definitely want to hit it with a little powdered sugar. And now what we have here, and uh, I will give this a little quick open so you can see the goodness. And we have a delicious apple pie with heated up pie filling, a little powdered sugar on the outside, in between some slices of bread. And we've got some warm apple pie goodness around the campfire to enjoy with your friends and patrol mates and scouts and all. Uh, it just, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here because I'm just tongue twisted because I'm so excited about this apple pie. But get out there, have some fun with your uh, your uh, fellow patrol mates, troop mates, uh, people in your unit, and consider using a pie iron out around the campfire and you'll be amazed of what different types of treats you can make between the apple pie filling, cherry pie filling, blueberry filling, the sky's the limit. Enjoy yourself, get out there and have some great scouting adventures around the campfire.